hello and welcome to my science tutorials in today's video I want to look at a past question on a three set problem now this is the SSC 1993 question number two in a senior secondary school there are 174 students in form 2 of this 86 play table tennis 84 play football and 94 play volleyball 30 play table tennis and volleyball, 34 play volleyball and football, and 42 table tennis and football. Each student plays at least one of the three games. A. You are to display these facts in a Venn diagram. B. Write down an equation in X and find X. C. If a student is chosen at random from Form 2, what is the probability that he plays two games? Alright, so let's go ahead and look at the solution to this problem. First of all, let's write down all the things we know in this particular question. So we were told that in this senior secondary school, there are 174 students in Form 2. So it means our universal set, our number of universal students, set which is nu they use for universal the number of uh, total students in the school is 174 now of this 86 play tennis ball so we are using t to represent tennis ball so the number of students that plays tennis ball nt will be equal to 86 now we're also told that 84 plays football so the number of students that plays football nf will be equal to 84 and then 94 plays volleyball so NV will be 94 now the question continues to say that 30 play tennis ball and volleyball so the number of students that plays tennis ball and volleyball so that is a uh, the number of a uh, T intersection V. T intersection V means tennis ball and volleyball. So this is equal to 30. And 34 play volleyball and football. So for volleyball and football, N intersection F, that is equal to 34. And 42 play tennis ball and football. So the number that plays The number that plays uh, tennis ball and football is equal to 42. Now, we're told that each student plays at least uh, one of the games that we see above. Now, there is a part of the question that I omitted that is, as students play all three games. So, the number of students that play all the games, that is, uh tennis ball football and volleyball all three games together is represented by x so uh this is the information that we got from the question now the a aspect of the question demands that we represent this information in a venn diagram so we draw our venn diagram something like this then we draw three circles Make sure they overlap each other so our universal set which is the total number of students in this particular form 2 is 174 we write it at the top over here so i'm using the first circle over here at the top as the number of students that plays tennis so that is equal to 86 and then the one at uh, my right over here is for football f so that is 84 and then the one at the bottom will be for volleyball and that is 94. We're told that X student play all three games so it will be at the middle over here. And then we're told that for tennis and volley, that is T and V, it is 30. So we have 30 here. We're also told that uh, V intersection F, that is VF, is 34. So we have 34 here. And then at the top over here, we will have 42 over here. Now, to get 
tennis and football only we subtract the x from this so it will be minus x here minus x here minus x here okay and then we don't know just tennis only uh, football only and then volleyball only so we represent these guys by a b and c respectively so over here we have 42 minus x over here we have 34 minus x and then we have 30 minus x so this is the information when we illustrate it on a venn diagram now i'm going to erase uh, this side so that we move on to the b aspect of the question but kindly take note of all the parameters that we've written so far okay so le let me start uh, with the b now if you look at uh, just uh, for tennis alone the, the the circle of tennis alone we have uh, a which is this guy over here plus 42 minus x so we have 42 minus x plus the x in the middle plus that x plus the 30 minus x over here to 30 minus x now if we add all these things together we are expected to get 86 as our answer so this is the expression we get from just uh, table tennis alone now if we go ahead and add everything we have over here this x will cancel this x over here and then 42 plus 30 will give us 72 so we have a plus 72 minus x is equal to 86 so i have a minus x equals 86 minus i send the 72 to the other side it becomes minus 72 so this implies that my a minus x is equal to 86 minus 72 will give me 14. now if i decide to make a the subject over here it means my a will be equal to 14. i send the x to the other side it becomes plus x so this is the expression i get for a so for a over here it is 14 plus x so let's uh, find uh, the expression for b okay so when we add everything in the circle of b it should be equal to the total number of students that play football so that is 84 so we have 42 minus x plus the x here in the middle plus 34 minus x plus the b over here should be equal to 84 so just like we did for uh, a we'll do the exact same thing for b now this is minus s it will cancel the positive x over here we have 42 plus 34 that will give me 76 minus x plus b is equal to 84 so i maintain the minus x plus b over here is equal to 84 minus 76 and if i do the subtraction 84 minus 76 that will give me 8 so it means i have minus x plus b is equal to 8. now if i make a uh, b the subject over here b will be equal to 8 plus x this is the expression i get for b so it means for b the expression is 8 plus x over here so let's proceed to find the expression for c and then together we find the value for x Now for C, we have everything here in the circle of C. So we have 30 minus X plus X plus 34 minus X plus C should be equal to the total number of students that plays the volleyball. That is 94. As always, this will cancel this. So we have 30 plus 34. That will give me 64 minus X plus C is equal to 94. So I have minus X plus C will give me 94 minus 64 and that will give me 60 94 minus 64 will give me 30 sorry so i have minus x plus c is equal to 30. Now if i make c the subject i'll get 30 plus x as my answer over here so my c here is 30 plus x now 
so what it means is that if i add 14 plus x what i have over here and then 42 minus x the x 30 minus x 34 minus x 30 plus x and then 8 plus x over here it should be equal to the universal set or the total number that we have in that particular class so if we do that computation we can solve the value for x so let's proceed to look at that so i'll clean everything uh, i have over here i hope by now you've already uh, copied the expression for a b and c and you've also drawn the venn diagram already okay so adding everything that we see in the venn diagram we have 14 plus x plus 8 plus x plus 30 plus x plus 42 minus x plus x plus 30 minus x plus 34 minus x is equal to 174 now if i add all the numbers 14 plus 8 plus 30 plus 42 plus 30 plus x plus 34 sorry that will give me a total of 158 and then all the x that i have this is s plus s2 s plus s3 s minus s2 s plus s3 s minus s2 s minus x just x will be left so this is plus x is equal to 174 so from here x will be equal to i send the 158 to the other side it becomes 174 minus 158 so the value of x is equal to 174 minus 158 will give me 16 so the answer for x or the number of students that play all these three games is equal to 16 now from from what we have it means if i consider just a alone uh where we have the expression we had for a is 14 plus x the expression we had for b was uh, 8 plus x and then for c it was 30 plus x now if i look at all this and i insert the value of uh, 16 over there it means a will be equal to 14 plus 6 16 which is uh, 30 b will be equal to 16 plus 8 which is 24 and then c will be equal to 30 plus 16 which is 46 these are uh, are just for a b and c so just in case so that is that now let's look at the last aspect they are saying if a student is chosen at random what is the probability that he plays two games right so for two games it means that we are looking at the not uh play all games but in between those guys so let me quickly draw the venn diagram to show you where just two games is so in our venn diagram we had something that looks like this one two three now for just two games it means the x in the middle is not needed just the area i'm shading over here this is just two games the area over here is also just two games the area over here also is just two games now if you remember the one over here was 42 minus x the one over here at the bottom over here was 30 minus x and then the one at this side was 34 minus x 34 minus x okay now we found out that the x is equal to what 16 so it means that the probability that um the person or he plays only two games let me make it two games is equal to 30 minus 16 which is the x for this guy plus just another two games which is 42 minus 16 and then plus 34 minus 16 all divided by the universal set which we said was 174 so it's 174 over here so the probability of just two games will give me if i compute everything i have at the top i'll have 58 over 174 
and if I break this down, it will give me a ratio of 1 is to 3. So the probability that if a student is chosen at random from Form 2, he plays two games is 1 over 3. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.